Grade 4 math, number 43. Divide by a one-digit number and check the answer. Well, when we're dividing by a one-digit number, that means this is the one-digit number, okay? This is how we do it. The first thing we do is ask how many times a 3 can fit into a 5. How many times can that 3 fit into that 5? Just one time. So we put the 1 above the 5, because that's what we put it into. We multiply the 3 times the 1, and we put the 3 down here, and we subtract. Now it's the 2's turn to come down, and we ask ourselves, how many times can 3 fit into 22? See? 3 times 7 is 21. So we put the 7 above the 2 that we dropped down. We do our multiplication of 3 times 7. We write our 21 here. We do our subtraction. And now it's the 5's turn to drop down. See? 3 goes into five, 15 5 times. 3 times 5 is 15 with a remainder of 0. Now to make sure that we did it correctly, our quotient is 175. We multiply this 175 times the 3. 175 is the quotient. The 3 is the divisor. 3 times 5 is 15. We carry the 1 and put the 5 down. 3 times 7 is 21, plus that 1 is 22. We carry the 2 and put the 2 down. 3 times 1 is 3, plus the 2 is 4, 5, 525. And if that number, which is supposed to be your dividend, is the same as your dividend, then you know you did the whole thing correctly. Okay? Let's try it one more time. How many times can 8 fit into 9,232? Well, we ask ourselves, how many times can 8 fit into the 9? It fits one time. 1 times that 8 is 8. And we write it down there, and we do our subtraction, and we get 1 right there. Now it's the 2's turn to come down. How many times can 8 fit into a 12? Just one time. So because it was the 2 that dropped down, that's where that number is going to go. 8 times 1 is 8. See? We do our subtraction. 12 take away 8 is 4. And now it's the 3's turn to drop down. How many times can 8 fit into 43? 8 times 5 is 40. We do that multiplication. 8 times 5 is 40. And put it under the 43. We do our subtraction and get 3. And now it's the 2's turn to drop down. Then we say, how many times can 8 fit into 32? 8 can fit into 32 four times. We write it above the 2 that we drop down. We do our multiplication of 8 times 34, which is 32. We do our subtraction and get 0. So, our quotient is 1,154. 1,154. We multiply the 1,154 times 8 and see what we get. 8 times 4 is 32. We carry the 3 and put the 2 down. 8 times 5 is 40, plus the 3 we carried over is 43. We carry over the 4 and put the 3 down. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. We carry over the 1 and put the 2 down. 8 times 1 is 8, plus the 1 is 9, and we get 9,232. And if this number is the same as our dividend, 9232, 9232, two, then we know that we did it correctly. The opposite of division is multiplication. So in order to check our division, we need to multiply. Now what happens if you see this? What if you see n divided by 5 equals 85? How do we do that? Think of how we checked our multiplication problem. We just multiply the quotient by the divisor. 85 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. We carry the 2 and put the 5 down. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 2 is 42. The answer is n is equal to 425. And if we want to check that, all we have to do is see how many times 5 goes into 425. If it goes in with a quotient of 85, the quotient is 85, we know we did it correctly. See? So what happens if we see this now? For this one, the dividend was missing, and we had the divisor in the quotient. Now the divisor is missing. All you have to do is swap the 5 for the n and divide the 85 by 5. So 
185 divided by 5, 5 can't go into 1, so we don't put any answer up here. Can 5 fit into 18? Yes, 3 times. 5 times 3 is 15. We put it under the 18 and do our subtraction and get 3. And now it's the 5's turn to come down, see? How many times can 5 fit into 35? 7 times. And we put the answer above our 7. 5 times 35 is, 5 times 7 is 35. We put it here and we get a remainder of 0. Then to check it, we do the same thing. We say 37 times the 5. 37 times 5. 5 times 7 is 35. We carry the 3 and put the 5 down. 5 times 3 is 15. 16, 17, 18, 185. And that's what our dividend is. We know n is equal to 37, and we did it correctly. See? You can do that, can't you? Just remember, when you're doing the division, to ask yourself if it fits into the first number. If it does, that's where your answer is going to go. If it doesn't fit into the first number, then go to the next number and see if it fits into those two and put your answer above the second number. See? And remember that multiplication is the opposite of division, and it can help you check to see if you've got your answer right. I'll see you next video. We're going to keep dividing and keep going. Bye.